Hang back. Should we fight him from in the elevator, maybe? Yeah, that, that's what I'd like to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go out there and come back. I was gonna send my scavenger bot out. <laughs> Are they coming? Uh, oh, they do not want to fight us on yeah. our terms. Let's see what I can do. Here. And... Oh shit, they're behind. Ooh, I'm low on ammo. Alright, new gun. Fucking tackled again. Motherfucker. Sorry, probably in front of you. Damn it, he tackled me too. It's brutal when they do that. Do you have health? Uh, about half. I was, I could see that. I thought maybe that was like a reminder oh, yeah. to re health, but I don't know if you can. I cannot. Oh, and, and he fucking hit me from behind. I got him now. Oh man, that's gay. I was, I just had telekinesis. Some health and was about to grab it. Ah, uh, that is gay. Alright. This time we'll succeed, I think. We've got kind of a good thing going on here. Where are you? Wow. I. I... <laughs> 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 Don't go over there. <laughs> is that a bad idea? Huh? Yeah, don't go over there. That back left corner, because that's where all of them like to hang out. Apparently, that was that was not good at all. I went to I uh, went to Morton's uh, a couple nights ago in Atlanta, and uh, some guy stood up and pitched a fit about how he didn't want to pay for his meal because because uh, his food that came out there. And I mean, like, caused like a complete scene. Like, I almost wanted to record it with my iPhone. Wow. I don't think I've ever done that before. Never created like a. Yeah, I whole, haven't whole either. Scene. I kind of want to. Big baby. Yo, you, you kind of want to? Come on, it'd be cool, right? I don't know. This guy just looked like such a douchebag. He was like, "I'm an. It's not about the money. I'm an investment banker." Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. If you right. ever decide to be that big a douche, you know, let me know so I can record in advance. Yeah, that was just such a douchebag move. You know, everybody's looking at him like, you're an asshole. I think what had happened is his wife started ordering stuff and before he knew it, he had that $250 bill. You think that was it, really? Because I don't an care what he says. Banker. Oh, yeah, all that bullshit <laughs> about being an investment banker. He was over there fucking taking cell phone pictures of the menu and shit. Ah, that's telling, isn't it? Yeah. That's what my girlfriend pointed out. She's like, one minute he was over there like it, like he was at Disneyland, you know, getting everybody's picture taken at Morton's, and the next minute he's like, ah, it's not about the money, but this is ridiculous. Hmm. Why didn't those bullets easy. count? One tackle the out of me. <laughs> we are both slashing. I think we're gonna <laughs> yeah, get him this time. Up. Yeah, that, the music stopped. This is a good sign. Awesome. Now we'll just traverse these icy obelisks of doom. Thank goodness we're going the right way. Like I, I was like, tell me we didn't have to go this way. I don't think I've ever seen that. Dude, you, what you should have done is filmed it and shouted out like "World Star Hip Hop" at the same time. <laughs> I'm 
gonna spend a little bit of time on the bench. Okay, I'm gonna scavenge. Alright, I'll ask you this, because this is one of those things that I ask everybody I know and I get different opinions on. So if you're at a very nice steakhouse, let's say, let's say you're at Morton, something like that, something where it's a, it's probably like a, a 40 to $70 steak you're eating. Do you order steak sauce? Oh, you know, here's my answer. It, it, I hope it's not a cop out, but it's, if I want it, I order it. God damn it. Like, there is this notion that, like, oh, you're at a high-end steakhouse. You are not supposed to be putting something on it. You're supposed to... It, the way they're making it is pure perfection. And to me, it's like, dude, I don't care how good your french fries are. If I want ketchup, I'm putting ketchup on it. If I want steak sauce, I'll put steak sauce on it. Don't tell me your food is so perfect that I'm drowning it out. Uh, most of the time, no. Most of the time I go to a high-end steak restaurant, it's... I think they do a really good job. You know, it's well seasoned, and I want to just enjoy that. But uh, I don't like the idea of somebody telling me that I'm not supposed to order it. So you admit that it's not normally necessary, uh, but you want to be able, but you want to re retain the uh, the ability to to do so if you need it. Yeah, I guess that I, I think that's a fair way to say it. So I'm waiting here at the door for you. you I am all done. I just couldn't get over this guy who who was he's got a he's got a sixty dollar steak over there and he's pouring a one all over it, just all over it. I mean, maybe if you put a little and just like dabbed it in there. I don't know where you are. I. Uh, but he, there you are. Okay. okay. So yeah. like I've had steak that expensive from room service, and uh, it's like you know I just think it's better with the steak sauce. There's. There's a re uh, hotel. Have you ever stayed at the Standard in Hollywood? I have not. Uh, it's a restaurant with some, you know, reputation for being cool. Anyway, how do we get to this? Fuck this. What's this? What, what if I get this? Hmm. <laughs> do any of these things have difficult. handles? It's a high-end, like, hotel in Hollywood, and they have pretty good steak there in the room service but oh oh wait here it is ah uh, good call alright so you're gonna have to I'm gonna have to walk you through there then you come with me oh that's, that's a good point a little bit further good oh this way whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I had to think that through uh huh so you put steak sauce on that steak? I did, and I loved it. And it was freaking spectacular. And, you know, I don't usually eat cows, but in this case, it was, it, it, there wasn't a lot on the room service menu. And, you know, let, let's consider it a survival situation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Definitely could see that. All right. I'll carry this thing. You work the, the door. All right. You could just shoot it. I wonder what happens if I... Like, will you block? No! Oh, God! What the hell? There's a guy over here. Oh, fucking get it out of my eye. What's in your eye? Is this a real life problem? A squid, a squid baby! No, one of these things! Look at you. <laughs> that was horrible. What I was trying to Wait. do this. There. Okay. That was awful. God damn it! Who's that cocksucker? Are you just noticing them? Because he's like the third one. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> noticing them. That guy's a real McAsshole. <laughs> Did you call him a McAsshole? Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo, that was number four, baby. Yep. Fuck, how many more are there? Four, er, there's only four. There are 47 keys. <laughs> <laughs> One for each Dunedain level. Is it this way? No, it's this way. This is like a Lord of the Rings style epic quest. Oh, fuck. 
My grenade launcher does the trick. Oh, was that you? On my screen, I thought it yeah. was me who got it all done. Oh, here's another guy. Can he hear us? All this time, I thought it was kind of a one-way communication, like he's on the PA system. I'm not really sure. I have the game sound turned off. Oh, okay. Do you have the uh, captions turned on? No. No, I don't. Alright, yes. Yeah, so which, you... which partly explains my confusion. <laughs> Wait, what did I walk past? Somatic gel, maybe? I think somatic gel is from fucking Fallout. That sounds familiar. I think it's in this game. How do we know this is even gonna it's, work? Uh, it is in this game, but I think it's also in Fallout. Ah, okay. Yeah. It looks Could like be wrong, though. Somebody in the comments will remind me. On the Fallout New Vegas DLC where you go up in the UFO, what's that gel that you get well, that in the aliens? Familiar. At Something gel. Out. You gotta be a hardcore nerd to remember this one. You're hardcore nerd but strong when you started busting out the Star Trek stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I grew up watching that shit. Like, I, when I was, like, six or seven, like, came on every night. I watched every episode. Wait, Seen Star every Trek came on? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I did yeah. say Star Trek, but I meant Star Wars. Oh, that, Star Wars. That, oh. When you knew about, was it Mitochlorian in their blood? Yeah, Mitochlorians. Yeah, Mitochlorian. Yeah. Everyone knows that. It's from a Weird Al Yankovic song. That's one of the reasons I've got it memorized. Ah. Uh. Did he rip on Jar Jar in his song? Yeah. God, that was a terrible character. The, it, He's got, there's a, it's called, uh, it's it's to the tune of uh, American Pie, like, bye bye Miss American Pie, but it's about Star Wars, so it's pretty good. That, the episode one, I, terrible. Like, you know what, as a movie, I, I watched it recently, and it wasn't that bad, but the Jar Jar it character is so horrible. Dude, think about the battle scene. Think about how like epic the battles were in the original Star Wars movies. Like, there's that thing with the ti the uh, those walking. Mo I don't know what those machines are. The ones with that are, they have two legs, and are like a battleship thing. That's a that's almost it's you know you're not it's not scary, but it's an intense battle scene. You're like, oh, I hope they win this one. And then look at the battle scene from Episode One where you got all those goofy eared gong gongs or whatever the fuck they are, like slinging those blue orbs at the uh, at the enemy. It's just ridiculous. Okay, like a Disney movie. I'll grant you that. On the other hand, the battle scene where all the Jedi fight all the androids, the clones. Yeah, it was pretty badass. That was a really good scene. I watched that recently with Colin, and we were both digging it. Yeah, that is a good scene. The fight, the fighting, the lightsaber stuff is all great. Yes. Um, oh, and when um, now normally I think George Lucas sucks at special effects. Like he just he cares too much about. Spe I don't know. It's bad. All right. But when. Yoda got, did the sword fighting. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. that was, oh yeah, absolutely. That's the be that's the highlight of that series. Mm. Do you want to so take good. call it a break here at the start of chapter fifteen? We can. I I, I do want to assemble this shit because we worked hard to see what all these fucking pieces would do when we combine them. And I think it's going to create create a nasty monster to fight. This seems really dumb. You want to keep going? Well, we're just a button press away, right? I don't know. Here, I'll do the little It'll magic thing to do. Why do I think we're not a button press away? That we're actually like a puzzle away or something? Ugh. It says to go here right is. here. Is there something I'm not seeing? Okay. So. Oh, you're in. shitting me. It's a puzzle. <laughs> it's a puzzle. Alright, well this looks like... Find the end pieces. All right, this one's an end piece. Well, sort of. Those look like little feet. All right, All right so those are the end pieces. How are we supposed to piece this thing together? Are we sure about that? Yeah, I'm. I'm actually sure that the end pieces are in the right spots. Now, the little feet kind of match up with. Okay, I think I see something forming here. Yeah. This looks I'll really hard. Hard to tell, but the I think maybe together. this one. How's that look? Wrong. Uh, that one's wrong. 
This one definitely doesn't go here. It might be... How's that look? Alright, I think the first two are right. No. I think... Yes. Oh. Yeah, that one. I think that's the third one. Really? Mm-hmm. You want it over here? I want it right there, the third one. There we go. There? Yes. Yeah, I think that's right. Now what? It might be this one. I'll try it. Oops, I made a mistake. I went too far. This game has such a mixture of puzzle types. This is literally a puzzle. This is where there are broken pieces <laughs> that have to be assembled. Frankly, I'm not happy about it. 